So we finally hit that point of the week when it comes to the new releases of Halo Infinite. That point being I've completed my entire event pass and completed all my weekly challenges. That means we've broken the chains of challenge based XP gains. With this newfound freedom, what's the one thing I want to do when playing Halo Infinite now? I say it's big team battle because it showcase gameplay of Cliffhanger and Chasm, but not Oasis. I'm just a little impatient waiting for the BTB Unlimited playlist to come in next week. And 343 did say that they updated most of the playlists the feature season three new content with an increased waiting for the start of the season. So now it begs the question, did they hold true to their statement? Lies, they threw me into deadlock. Oh my goodness, this is just ridiculous. I wanted Oasis. I wanna know what Wonderwall feels like in Halo. Now, interesting thing, you might see it on the map here. They actually did change up this map. They added in a Banshee now on deadlock, which certainly mixed things up. I just kinda of camp out and wait to see if this one spawns up or maybe I can get the enemy swan. Oh, we'll, we'll wait and see. Got our first kill. Oh, look at this long range distance right here with the battle rifle. No. How many vehicles do these guys need? Jesus Christ. There we go. Got him out of here. Don't kill him before he kills me. Come on, team. Help, help me out. But yeah, right now I'm just kind of wishing that we're playing on Oasis instead of Deadlock because we've been playing Deadlock for a year and a half now. But yeah, we're getting some good stuff to pick up, but I might want to play the new stuff. Oh, here we go. Now, of course, we're kind of hunting for Oasis. So unless anything cool happens within this game, uh, we're going to switch over to Oasis right now. Okay, now we're actually into playing content that we actually want to play in right now. So we finally got a match on Oasis, playing some two flag CTF as well. I've only played this map like a couple of times previously, just on my stream, which we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch. If you guys wanna come check us out there. We're always gonna be there hanging out, having a good time. So uh, the last map we played on, we actually spawned on the red side of the map right here, or what would be the red side, I guess you wanna call it, to me at least. So initial impressions that the map is pretty well made, has some pretty cool stuff with it. Now, can we pull something with this camo though? Can we get spicy with it? Can we help this flag carrier? Yep, pick one for the team. We can pick up this bandit rifle while we're figuring out what to do here here we go as you can see i picked up the capstone as well i got the purple camo purple right if you're so particular about what it's actually called oh we're carrying this all the way this is the easiest flat cap we've ever had never mind there's a wasp ah! now obviously the big thing i like the most about this map of oasis is how drastically different it is and aesthetic compared to all the other maps hey look at that we got the flat cap let's go one zero in favor of us love to see it now they weren't kidding when it comes to the description of this map when they first said before the launch of it that you can pretty much drive a warhawk every location on this map and definitely on this location like in the cave section that's definitely an option look at this everything is big wide open areas now it does kind of come into like the lane situation like i kind of talked about in previous videos saying how the btb maps are very lane based and there really isn't much room for vehicles to kind of run around and do their own thing i think we actually get that chance now within this map which is really cool yeah another one there Can we get this wasp out of the sky by any chance oh my god Oh no, he has a sword. Why would you do this to me, game? Man, I was just trying to be a team player, take out the wasp with some shock nays and the shock rifle, but just not happening. Hey, look, we got recognized. What up, friend? And like I said, this is like my, my second time playing this map, so I'm gonna be using a lot of this AI scan here to kind of help me figure out like what the heck is on this map. And then like going to any custom games to figure out like what the most optimal routes are and where all the spawns are. I just hopped in and started playing and because of that, I get sniped across the map for I don't know where. They took our flag, where is it? Where did it, if it's supposed to be, wait, where is our flag supposed to be? Dude, this map is freaking gorgeous. Just look at this, man. This is amazing. Get it all, get the bubble shit out of here. Shroud screen, I mean, get that double. Yeah. Oh my God, I completely love the shroud screen in this game already. Just that one instance alone makes me go, okay, this definitely deserves to be in Halo. Wait, I was able just to dip out of there. Well, we looks like we got a train going over to the middle. I would uh, follow suit. Now, if you guys all know about the lore about this map as well, that this is supposed to be kind of like a forerunner terraforming kind of section. It's actually technically not on a Halo ring, as you can see. There's no ring in this guy, so this is not set on Zeta Halo, which most of the maps in Halo, if it's multiplayer, are set on Zeta Halo, if you guys are lore nerds like me. Now, I'm not exactly a hidden Xperia, but, you know, I like they can't keep up. That they can't keep up with the flag here because they just took our flag and scored. Oh, my... Man, I just got the shock rifle and I do this to me like this with the Skyrim in front of me. Luckily, our friend, A. Smith, they recognized us earlier, up in a wasp, carrying the team. You'll love to see it. I love the long lines of sight in this too, like all the way over here. Like sniping is actually going to be very viable on these maps too. 
Got another one. Do we can get like a nut? Can we get on top of this with a grapple shot that we just picked up? That would be nutty. <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> no. The dream has been shattered once again. Dude, just like these battles with this backdrop just looks incredible on this map. I don't care how much I'm dying because it just, it looks so good doing it. I seem to be having more success going the interior route. So let's go this route. Seems it's like a complete cluster when it comes to all the vehicles being in play all at once out by the green patch area. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm getting hunted by two guys. Can we make it out of here alive? Get the commando. I know I got nerfed, but it's still good in this game. Can't let that happen. Our teammate just did get a tank, so that's good. I, what kind of nade toss is that? Help the team. There we go. Let's get this return. Well, actually, I want to get its camo first. That's, a, that's the bigger move. Oh, this guy's got rockets. Yes! Clutch, please. Let's go. So this is what the other side of the base looks like right here. Oh, someone right below me. You need to check and pay attention to your radar there, sir. What the heck? How did I get that guy in that second shot? Well, at least got him anyways. Oh, yes. Still good. It's still good. Dude, this is one thing I wish we had bandit rifle starts on this map because the lines of sight are so huge. I mean, it's great. And I love the scale and the visuals and everything about this map, honestly. And I think it plays out rather well. I just kind of wish, like, I had a little bit something at more at range. Oh my goodness, that hammer completely slapped that world around. That was hilarious. Oh, he's got a shoddy. Don't kill me. And he did. You had to. We've been seeing some leaks going around online saying that there might have been bandit rifle starts with season three, but clearly that didn't happen. That might be in the works in some way or another, because a lot of these times we get these data miners, they pull off information or say something like that. There's a hint of truth behind it. So it's probably hiding somewhere within the game code at some location, at some possibility that we could get bandit rifle starts with big team battle which honestly in that case i would be all for it i think the bandit rifle would actually play out very well they're trying to cap the flag on us no they're gonna get it no i tried i'm trying to talk about why we should have the bandit rifle but you're killing me because you only have that 1.4 times zoom with the bandit right so it's gonna be the same kind of zoom as you would have with the pistol but it's gonna have much better range to it no bloom certainly helps there is a good amount of recoil after the first like six ish shots is when the recoil really kicks in with the bandit rifle so we really could see bandit starts which i think would be perfect for big team battle well, i don't know what you what, let me go what you guys think about that in the comments yeah, i do read them Got one zappy. We're actually kind of setting ourselves We got a minute left in this game, but we're kind of setting ourselves up here. Like, if we make a good push here, we could possibly grab this floor. Oh, we got their sniper down. Let's go. We got another one. I'm not going down without a fight. Grab that flag. I can't see what's going on in there, but I need to kill something. No, they got the return. We have 10 seconds left and they're just all over it. Hey, even the mighty have to fall sometimes. So Oasis is a really cool map. The sandbox is on full display. Tons of vehicle play on this map. Big open spaces. You actually get a chance to drive around and have some creativity with your vehicles, which is something that's sorely missed right now with the vanilla maps for Big Team Battle. Do you think BTP should have bandit rifle starts? Let me know in the comments. If you guys want to catch some more gameplay commentaries, check out this video right here of Cliffhanger and Chasm. Catch you on the next one.